Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. Today we're going to make tea towels four different ways. Did you know there were that many ways to do fabric projects with your Cricut machine? Well, there are. This video is sponsored by Cricut, however all projects and opinions are my own. I'm going to use my Cricut Explorer today, but any Cricut machine will work with all four of these methods for making fabric projects. So what are we going to use? We're going to use iron-on, which you might think of when you think of fabric projects. We're going to use infusible ink with a polyester tea towel. We're going to use vinyl as a stencil, and we're going to use freezer paper as our fourth method as another option for stenciling. So each of these methods is super easy and it opens up a wide range of options, whether you're making tea towels, shirts, or any other fabric project. So first let's take a look at the supplies we're gonna need. Here are the supplies you're gonna need. So we're going to do these four different ways. The first way is just with iron-on. The second way is vinyl with fabric paint. Third way is Cricut infusible ink. Fourth way is gonna be freezer paper with fabric paint. For the freezer paper, iron-on, and infusible ink, we will need an easy press and an easy press mat. And for all of these, we'll be cutting with a Cricut. Any Cricut will work, I'm gonna use my Explore. And then you'll need your tea towels. The top two in this case are 100% polyester, and I will be using one of those for the infusible ink. And then these bottom two are 100% cotton, and I can use any of those for the other three methods. Now I will note that like I usually like to get my tea towels at like Walmart in a like bulk pack, but you can also buy tea towels on Amazon. So just pick your favorite depending on the method you're gonna use. If you're gonna use infusible ink, make sure it's a polyester tea towel. Otherwise, grab whatever tea towel you like and let's get started making a project for our kitchen. Now that you have all of your supplies, let's head to Cricut Design Space and take a look at how you make your design. All right, so for designs. These are the four designs I'm gonna make. So let me first talk about how to find designs in Cricut Design Space. So what I usually do is click images and then I would search for kitchen. In this case, you could try some other searches just depending on what you're looking for. And as you can see, here are the couple designs I'm using and you just click on those and click insert. Now, perhaps you don't have access and you are wanting to look for something that's free, just click under ownership and click free and that will sort your results using only free objects in design space. So I could add one of these free objects and then add some text right in Cricut Design Space to make my own kitchen towel design. Let's talk about each of the methods we're gonna to use to make tea towels and what designs work best for those. So for HTV, this is the one I'm going to use. And for that, you can really choose any design you would like. As long as it will cut out of the HTV and you can weed it, you do wanna mirror it before you cut. Then next, we're gonna go with the vinyl and we are going to use it as a stencil. And I am going to use this design for that. And with that, we're gonna use transfer tape to transfer it to our tea towel. So again, it doesn't really matter. Your lines can be whatever you want. As long as they'll cut out of vinyl and you can weed it, you can definitely transfer it to your tea towel. The next, we're gonna use infusible ink on a polyester tea towel. I do recommend wider lines for this. So you'll see, I would not use something like this with the thin font. I used something that had a thicker font outline for infusible ink. So that's kind of my tip for infusible ink. And hopefully these small lines work out okay. If they don't, I just won't worry about them, but hopefully they will cut fine as well. And infusible ink again is mirrored. And then for this design, we're gonna use freezer paper. So for freezer paper, you will have to place each and every small item separately. So the center of this queue, for example, I will have to place that and iron it on. So I like to choose a design where there's not a lot of little small pieces, middles of letters, things like that. So here we have the center of the Q, we'll have these two pieces on the O, and then we'll have this piece on the E. So overall, this is a fairly simple design. So just caution when you're using freezer paper, you might want, not wanna go with something super complicated. And then as you can see, I've made each of these a different color. And in the case of these, I've attached them together. So now I'm ready to click make it and cut these with my Explore. 
Again, all of these materials can be used on any Cricut machine, so you can make the, any of these projects with whatever Cricut machine you have. And now it's time to make tea towels four different ways, so let's get started. I've put my material shiny side down onto the mat, and this is the one with everyday iron on, and I've mirrored my design. I've also set my Explore, the dial to iron on, or if you're using another Cricut machine, just pick everyday iron on from your material settings list. Then we can just load the mat and start the cut. All right, so once that's done cutting, we'll remove it from the machine. And now let's cut the rest of our materials. Next up is vinyl, and I will note here that you can use removable or permanent vinyl. We're just using it as a stencil on fabric. And you wanna place it liner side down on your mat, and we are going to set our Cricut machine to the vinyl setting and cut our design. So then we'll just load our mat and press go to cut. Then once it's done cutting, we'll just remove this and move on to our next material. And now for the infusible ink, what you'll wanna do is place your sheet ink side up on your mat. And that means that the liner side is down on the mat. And I also with infusible ink, I make sure it's pressed down really well. And then for, I'm using my Explorer, so I put my dial on custom. And you'll wanna pick infusible ink transfer sheet in Cricut Design Space as your material. Then we can just feed this in. and press the go button to start. With infusible ink, before I eject it from the machine, I always check to make sure my cuts are through. And to do that, just pull it up just a little bit and make sure that you can see the liner. You might even need like a, a little pick to get under one of the edges. And this one's cut all the way through, so I will eject it. And now let's cut our fourth and final material. With freezer paper, the side that is shiny will be what you will want to press to your fabric because it will be what will stick. So we're gonna place it shiny side down onto the mat. The matte finish side will be up and we do not want to mirror our design in Cricut Design Space. I'm just gonna pick a paper setting for my Explore because this is similar to like a really thin copy paper and we'll cut about the same. So now let's head to our Explore and cut this material. Then we'll just load our material and hit go to cut our design. Then once this is done cutting, we'll just remove the mat. And now let's take a look at making each of these tea towels. I have my Easy Press heating up and we're gonna make the one with iron on first. And so I'm just gonna weed my iron on. So I like to use a weeding tool, just kind of pick it up in the corner and then start peeling back. So you wanna remove everything you don't want pressed onto your tea towel. So that's everything around the outside, as well as things like the centers of any letters will need to be removed at this point. And there we have a weeded design ready to put in our tea towel. All right, so now it's time to apply the design. So what I like to do first is just preheat the material, removes any wrinkles or any moisture, add the design into the location where you want it to be, and then we'll put our Easy Press back down, and I have it set to the right time and temperature according to the Cricut heat guide. Then once it beeps, we'll remove it. And for Cricut iron-on, you wanna flip your project over, press from the back, for about half the time. Once that's done, we'll remove the Easy Press, and now we wanna allow this to cool completely 
before we remove this carrier sheet. And once it's cooled completely, you just peel back the carrier sheet. And as you peel, you just wanna make sure that your iron-on is stuck. If it's not, I would replace the carrier sheet and repress a second time. So there we have one completed tea towel. So while I have the easy press out, I'm gonna change the time and temperature and let's do the infusible ink towel next. While the easy press heats up, let's go ahead and weed our infusible ink. So what you wanna do is crack your design. So that means sort of bending it in both directions and just sort of opens up those cut lines. And then you can either start removing the inside pieces or the entire outside. So just like we did with the iron on, all of the inside pieces of the letters, as well as everything outside, will need to be removed from the infusible ink. So I will just keep weeding my infusible ink pieces until everything is off, and then we can press it to our towel. Then once you've removed all the centers of those letters, you'll start working your way around the outside. So infusible ink does need to be weeded slowly, and it can be kind of a pain. So if you're starting to get some of the white backer onto your pieces as you weed onto the backing, then I just go from the opposite direction for that small piece. So if I'm coming up from the bottom and it's not working, then I go from the top, for example, and a lot of times it'll just come right off. And then you can try kind of cracking it again if it's just not working at all to see if you can get those pieces off. So I just slowly go around each piece. You should not use weeding tools with infusible ink, but I will use something like um, a pair of tweezers for super small pieces if I need to. So I'm just gonna keep working this and removing all of the pieces around this infusible ink design, and then we can press it to our polyester tea towel. And now I have everything weighted and it's ready to press. So I put some butcher paper down on my easy press mat. You wanna be sure to protect it. And then we wanna remove any lint from our towel. So this is a 100% polyester towel and I'm just lint rolling it. And then we'll wanna make sure that butcher paper is still under there and add the infusible ink in location. And then once you have the infusible ink located, we're just gonna cover with some additional butcher paper, and then we're gonna press for the full time and temperature. Then once it's done, we'll pick that up, remove this, and then we can just remove the infusible ink sheet from our towel, and there you have an infusible ink towel. So you may notice some press lines around here and that will happen. And what I'll do is allow this to cool and then press it from the back to kind of remove some of those from the around the outside. But I would wanna let it cool first. And if you do press it from the back, be sure that you have the butcher paper underneath just in case you reactivate some of that ink. So next up, let's do our freezer paper stencil since we will need to press it with the easy press as well. So I still have my freezer paper on this light grip mat and you just wanna carefully pull up and remove all of your letters. So we want this outside piece, we're not worried about the inside letters. So I'm just gonna pull it up and get the outside piece. Why I like to leave it on the mat is, remember I need all those little internal pieces like the centers of those cues. Leaving it on the mat, make sure those all stay in place and I don't lose them. So I'm just gonna pull this up and then I'll show you how to press it onto your tea towel. All right, so here's my piece removed from my mat. I did leave plenty of room around these sides. I did get it a little close on these two sides, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. What I wanna do is sort of pre-press my tea towel, remove any wrinkles, and then I wanna locate my design onto the towel wherever I wanna put it and make sure it's straight to that type of thing. And then once I have it on here, remember it's shiny side down, I'm just gonna quickly press it. It like seriously needs about three seconds. Quickly press it with your easy press and this is stuck enough to stencil. 
but we need to put all those small little pieces back in. So they're still on my mat, remember? And so I'm just gonna take each one and I'm gonna add it where it needs to be. Then once those are in place, I'm gonna put this down again, like three seconds. And everything is stuck and ready to be stenciled. Now remember I said I got it a little close on the two sides. If that makes you nervous, just add some painter's tape. So you have, give yourself a little bit of extra space around that outside edge so you won't get any paint. And so now I wanna put something underneath my towel. So I'm just going to use some butcher paper. This could be a scrap piece of paper, just so if the paint bleeds through, it won't get on your surface. And now let's break the paint out and start painting. All right, so I have two colors of fabric paint here because the benefit for me of stenciling of any type is that I can blend the colors and make really unique designs. So I'm gonna start up here at the top with pink, and then I'm gonna slowly kind of change it to the green as I go to the bottom. So this is a fun and unique way to make patterns on your tea towels or any other project. Remember that these techniques will work with any type of fabric crafts. So I'm just gonna keep stenciling away and then we'll sh I'll show you how to peel away that freezer paper from your tea towel to complete your project. So now the stenciling's done and this blending effect makes it where I get a really cool effect. And now while the paint is still wet, I want to carefully remove everything from this tea towel. So first I'm gonna peel up this tape. And as you lift the tape, the stencil will probably start to come up. That's okay, because it's just barely stuck to that material. And so you just wanna lift it up, collecting it as you go and those centers will stay on there right now. And it may rip, that's okay. We can come back and get some of those other little pieces. You just wanna be sure not to get paint on your hands. And if you do, don't touch your tea towel. So I'm just gonna peel this back, picking up the entire stencil as I go. And you can already see that super cool effect that we created with just two colors of fabric paint. And then we can just pick up those centers with something like some tweezers and discard those as well. And then you wanna follow all directions on your bottles of fabric paint. Some fabric paint requires that you heat set it after it dries. So be sure to check out the directions for that. And now I'll just let this one dry and we have another tea towel. All right, so now it's time for the vinyl stencil. Instead of pulling it up and weeding everything around the outside, what we wanna do is remove these center portions. Remember, we're using this as a stencil, so we want everything that we need painted to be removed. So we'll want to leave the centers of the letters and remove the outside pieces like this. So I'll just continue and remove all of our vinyl pieces to make a stencil, and then I'll show you how to transfer that to your tea towel. So now that my design's been weeded, I'm just gonna use some transfer tape and use it to move everything to my tea towel. So this just makes it a little bit easier to get all of those small little pieces. If you had a super simple design, you could just go ahead and lift it off the backing paper and then put that right on to your fabric but for more complicated designs with small pieces, I just like to put it on some transfer tape first, just to make sure I get everything onto my surface and in location. All right, so I have a scrap piece of paper to absorb any paint that seeps through. And then I just wanna put my tea towel on top of that. 
And then I will want to locate my vinyl into position. And then once I have it located, I'll just press it down. And you just wanna get it good and stuck to your fabric. And then peel back your transfer tape. All right, and now our design is on our tea towel. And once again, you can put tape around this. So if I'm super nervous about how close my design is to the edge, I would just add a little bit of tape just to give yourself some extra space when painting, just to make sure you don't get any paint on the towel itself. So now let's start painting. Again, I have just two colors of paint and you can blend them like we did last time or I might just make these a few add a few different colors to this one but again using paint is sort of like a benefit when making something like tea towels or shirts because you can create really unique designs when you use fabric paint instead of iron-on which you would be limited to the designs that like Cricut has but using this vinyl as a stencil I can make any pattern I would like easily. All right, so with this one, I did the just and the it all in blue. And then the beat and the whisk itself, I did like a combination of the two colors I had. And so now we're just going to, once again, paint still wet. We're going to peel all this off, carefully not getting any of the paint anywhere else on the towel. And again, the centers of the letters probably won't come up and I'll just get come back and get those with a pair of tweezers. And there you have a super cute tea towel, all with vinyl and a little fabric paint. Now remember, you wanna follow all directions on your fabric paint. It may require that you allow this to dry and then heat set it. And so you wanna follow those directions to make sure that your project is permanent. All right, so now all that's left to do is for you to pick your favorite method for making tea towels or any other fabric craft. I hope you see that there's a wide range of options and they're all simple to do. So how do you choose? Well, we went through some of the designs and how you would pick a design to go along with each method. Well, if you have a design in mind, you could kind of do that backwards. So you have this really complicated design in mind, maybe it would work best with iron-on. Then the second thing is what material you're gonna put it on. Polyester tea towel, polyester shirt. You might wanna choose infusible ink because it lasts a really long time. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to use. And then stenciling methods, vinyl or freezer paper, methods up to you. But if you have like a super complicated design in mind, you wanna do like an ombre effect, you wanna go from one color to another and sort of a gradient, then stenciling with fabric paint might be the way to go for you. So keep in mind the final look you want, the design you're gonna use, and the material you're gonna put it on, and pick one of these four methods to work for your tea towels or any other fabric project. So I hope this video helped you. If it did, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about any of the projects, any of the methods, anything about your Cricut machine, please drop down in the comment section and ask away. And if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this all the time and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of them. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.